Hey everyone, my name is Gabrielle and here are the most effective ways you can study biology. The first thing you need to know about studying biology is that definitions are really important. They can crop up anywhere and everywhere on your exam papers, you just can't get away with not knowing them. From my experience, the easiest way to get these definitions to stick into your head is by using flashcards. Flashcards are really useful for studying biology for many reasons. For example, the process of making your own flashcards counts as study because you're reinforcing the information to stick into your head. But also, every time you go through your flashcards, you are using an active study method, which basically involves testing yourself, which basically means that you're getting the information to stick into your head. For me personally, flashcards were a huge game changer because I was able to go through my flashcard decks while I was on my way to school or before the exams. And also also, flashcards can save you loads of time if you go through them often enough. This is because you can make one pile of flashcards for definitions that you just struggle to get into your head, and you don't need to worry so much about the easier definitions that you can put into another pile. However, if you don't have enough time to make your own flashcards, no worries, you can find loads on the StudyClicks website, and they're all categorized into niche topics so you can find exactly the flashcards that you're looking for. I will leave a link in the description box below, alongside loads of other useful study resources resources, so be sure to leave a like on this video so that you can find it again in the future and find all of the resources linked below. So now that you know how to study your definitions, how do you study literally everything else? It's okay, we got you. There are actually loads of study methods that you can use to study biological processes, systems, experiments, and so on. The first study technique that you can use for this is mnemonic devices. Mnemonics are basically short little phrases that help you to remember a huge chunk of information. For example, if you want to learn the phases of mitosis, you can use the mnemonic, I propose men are toads. Yes! If mnemonics aren't your thing, then maybe you can try making mind maps instead. This is basically creating a diagram in your own words explaining a biological process or system. And here you can also include diagrams or images and color to help the information to stick. What I personally found really useful is writing in past exam paper questions on my mind maps so that whenever I look at it, I could also test myself. However, if you're not sure about which topics come up the most often or which questions you should really focus on, then you can actually find some prediction tables on the StudyClicks website. They basically go through what has come up in the last couple of years so that you know exactly what you need to revise and go over and what you can kind of just skim by because it doesn't come up so often. And furthermore, you can use blurting diagrams to learn big chunks of information. What a blurting diagram is, is basically taking a sheet of paper and writing everything and anything you know about a topic on that piece of paper. Then with a different colored pen, you can go through your notes and compare them to your blurting diagram that you just put together, and then write in any pieces of information that you had forgotten. And then once you have a couple of blurting diagrams done, you can easily see what pieces of information you tend to forget and what pieces of information you always remember, so that you know exactly what you still need to revise. And if there are any other sort of study methods that really work for you for biology, I would be really curious to hear about them, so please be sure to leave a comment. So using all of these great study methods will help you to get a good grade in biology. However, if you want to get top marks, you really need to understand how to tackle the exam papers. The questions in biology tend to repeat themselves all of the time. This means that if you practice enough past exam paper questions, you're not going to have loads of surprises come up on the day of your exam. However, when you're practicing your past exam paper questions and you get some wrong, you really need to understand where you went wrong, why you didn't get full marks. When I used to do past exam paper questions in biology, the questions that I used to get stuck on the most were the long questions. And it wasn't because I didn't understand or know the information, it was just really difficult to tell like how much you need to write, like have you written enough or have you written too little. So for you to avoid having the same sort of problem as me, I'd really recommend for you to check out our annotated sample answers for biology. These sample answers have actually been annotated by expert teachers showing you exactly why a certain answer is really good and why some other answers aren't that great and how they can be improved upon. These annotations are brilliant because they show and explain exactly what the examiner is looking for. 
And hopefully this will help you to get the marks you deserve because you won't be writing too much or too little in your own exam. So obviously doing past exam paper questions in biology is a really useful study method, if not the best study method for biology. That all being said, it can be quite difficult to even attempt past exam paper questions if you're struggling with different topics or understanding concepts in biology. However, we have you covered. For me personally, I loved human biology and I absolutely hated ecology. And so I found it kind of hard to wrap my head around a lot of ecology topics because I just wasn't so interested in it and so it was so hard to concentrate on studying. If you feel the same way about some topics in biology or if there's some bits that you just really can't understand, then we have you covered. We have created the perfect solution. This is StudyClicks Boost, which is a brand new study tool. And I really wish I had it when I did my leaving cert. Study Clicks Boost is basically grinds for biology, but you do it at your own pace. It includes loads of interactive videos, resources, notes, and everything that you need to study a topic. What I particularly like about it is that it breaks down exactly everything you need to know for the biology exam into simple English, so that you'll have no trouble with understanding the different topics and you'll be learning exactly what you need to know. You can check it out via the link in our description box. And it would have been a huge game changer if I had it for my leaving cert, so be sure to check it out. It's also available in maths too. All in all, with the right study methods and with consistently revising your past exam paper questions, you can do really well in the subject. And if you're struggling with any other Leaving Cert subject, please comment it down below and we will make a video all about how to study that specific subject. We already have one for studying physics, so definitely check that out too. I hope this helps and best of luck with the biology study.